Right, I need you guys to send me uh, URLs of cool photographic websites. I'll explain it a little bit more. First of all, whenever I say cool photographic websites, I don't mean ones with amazing photos because that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at ones which are good photo portfolio websites. Uh, to give you an example, at the moment I'm using, uh, so I'm really thinking about upgrading uh, my current website. I use a website called ClickPick, um, which I'll show you here, which is spelled slightly funny, it's C-L-I-K-P-I-C dot com and uh, they are they've got a whole pile of photography sites which are very cheap uh, from 40 pounds a year and you can upload about 90 photos onto it you can make as many pages and all that kind of stuff that you want in it and all that good stuff and there's lots of stuff you can do with it and i would highly recommend it if you are uh, starting out your own photography site however i've had mine for a long time now, I've, sometimes I've had loads of pages, other times I've cut it all the way down. Uh, and at the moment, let's just see, I've got home, blog, modeling. Uh, I, I don't really do as much, but the pictures are all pants. It's just like they're all going in random positions. That's not how it was laid out before. Uh, and then you can click on the individual pupil. Uh, it's just a bit of a mess at the moment. Uh, the gallery is just a bit of a mess as well. Uh, it's got a link to my book which seems to, oh no, it is there, that's fine. A uh, bunch of clients showing you who have worked for and all that kind of stuff. If you want to contact me and my Help for Cancer kind of a uh, project and book kind of thing going on there, which is, oh, heartbreaker, tough one there. Mm. So um, I'm thinking, right, I've used this for a long time. It's time to upgrade it. And I'm thinking, what are cool websites for me? Because I've got a guy who knows a guy who can make me a site. A good site is what I'm saying. Um, it uh, and he is a web designer and he does gun gungraphics.com. Uh, link to him down below. Um, he has done a couple of sites which I wonder if I can just click on. Yes, I can. No, I can't. That's opening up uh, mail. Right, I'll I'll ignore that. However, what he's done, he's done this uh, band's website. So these are actually my photos as well. So in the future, you'll be seeing a video where I've done the. The photography for these guys. Um, I've, I did it ages ago, haven't done the video, sorry about that. Um, but this website I think is pretty good, but this is obviously a band thing, so it's not really a, a photography site. But what I do like, there's lots of things which I like about it. So you've got the kind of header bar, you've got Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, YouTube, iTunes, all that kind of linked in. So for me, I'd have Facebook critique group, uh, fan page book, uh, group, uh, my Twitter, I'd probably have my YouTube there, I'd have a link to my book, uh, a link to my photos kind of going on there, so uh, I, I like what he's added onto that, and this is a very cool looking site with lots of stuff on it, but that's more of a blog kind of thing. Uh, let's see his other site that he's done. So again, this is like an e-commerce website, Lady Jojo's Boutique uh, Shop in Edinburgh. And so it looks like this guy can pretty much do anything uh, that, that's possible. So I'm kind of thinking, right, what can I do to make my, or to, to make DonBower.com the next site better? What I do like is big photos and quick, uh, quick opening of the site. Because the what like I have a, an attention span or a patience span of about less than three seconds now. If I click on a website and it's not open, uh, I'm already kind of going in three seconds, going, oh, let's go to the next one. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of examples that I've brought up here. So first of all, Chase Jarvis, my hero. Um, his site, uh, let's just see if we, if we just, like he opens up straight into like some videos and stuff. I'm not, and it, I do like the full screen layout there. He's got his little kind of contacts up there, his YouTube, his video. Pretty kind of nice and basic uh, kind of layout there and big images. That's what I'm liking. I'm liking the idea of big images. We've got a friend in Edinburgh who's a, a modelling and wedding and other stuff photographer called Lorraine Ross and she's done the same kind of thing. And I like a big photo there. So L Lorraine Ross photography. Again, pretty simple. So it's not meant to be like piles of stuff going on, but she's got her likes, her, oh, Gmail Plus, uh, or G Plus, or whatever it is, uh, and her tweet. Um, but uh, if I click on gallery, what do we get here? So nice, big, solid pictures uh, going on there, and it's scrollable. I like the scrollable stuff, and she's put them into 
good little uh, things here. So if I click on beauty, oh, I like how, oh, I like this, I like that. I like our models as well. So I've got to remember not looking at this in terms of how pretty are the models, but how easy and interactive is the website. Uh, and yeah, cool, cool stuff there. So check out Lorraine uh, Roth Photography. So another one, a guy, I just put this up on Facebook just saying, uh, give me other stuff. So Sebastian, he sent me his one. Again, got lo lots of good links up there. Scrolling title bar, scrolling photo bar at the top. I'm thinking, I think I'd want a full photo image or, or a much bigger kind of thing. This is more, uh, well, that, that's it there. Okay, so then he's just got home, portrait, nature, uh, stuff like that. So I'd say that's more kind of like blog style rather than, port, uh, than portfolio style. So I'll just get rid of that at the moment. Very famous wedding photographer in America or wherever. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. Jasmine Starr. Uh, her one uh, is, is, uh, Probably not one I'd really go for. That when it opens up, it's straight into a video with music and sound and all that kind of stuff. I'll stop that for uh, uh, like copyright issues. But if I just can I go to the next bit? It looks like there's something at the side here, and I can't seem to scroll that. Something Maybe, powerful. About no, no, can't do anything there. Uh, and hers has got lots of things going on. Engagement shoots. Cool. I, I, well, I suppose that's kind of cool. How it's all the kind of straight into videos going on there? Featured in, does that do anything? If I'm clicking on these, do they, yeah, so it's slow. See, that's a bit slow. See, I, mean, I was waiting for that to go a little bit faster. If I click on documentary, it's this kind of video thing, and and then it's documentary. Okay, so it takes, oh, shh, 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 stop, stop, stop. I don't want to hear you, don't want to hear you, don't want to hear you. No, ah, right, okay, I'm just gonna close your site down because I'll probably get off the copyright. <laughs> Another one, Rankin, a uh, major, super famous uh, photographer. Uh, this one, I do like how whenever I open up his page, well, first of all, if you go to just rankin. Sorry, it's not .com, he's got a whole bunch of things. He's got Hunger TV and all that kind of stuff. I would say check out th this site, his stuff, his business, it's awesome. Uh, whenever I open up his stuff, I'm liking big screen uh, opening up of image which is kind of movable like that so it takes up everything like that. Portfolios, films, special projects and all that kind of stuff. So I do like how he's got like a nice montage of constantly changing photos and it's quite a fast change going on on the front here. If I just, oh and I clicked on that and where am I now? I'm at Hunger TV. Ah right okay so he's, he's integrating lots of different things here but if I just go to portfolios Oh, he's got a lot of uh, 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 portfolios, right? Uh, let's see, portraits. Uh, nice big screen. He's got millions there. Uh, is that why? I, I don't know if that's, that's kind of the thing that I'd be going for, but I did like how at the start he did just have a uh, sign up for our newsletter. That was a good little addition thing there to get people uh, uh, signing up, finding out his latest stuff and all that kind of stuff. So I like that as well. Now, a, a landscape photographer who I follow, uh, this Spanish guy, Alonso Diaz, I've done a video with him in the past and uh, his stuff is amazing. Lots of long exposure, nighttime stuff. Amazing stuff. His site was very fast to upload, and he's showing a nice selection of images and an easy click through going on there. Uh, and his images are all pretty cool, but they're not showing the size and shape. So, oh, I do like how I click and it clicks to flip around. You you move more details. One, I don't know. Click on that. Click on the plus sign. Taking too. Oh, see, that was taking a little bit too long. Maybe it's my internet or something like that. But yeah, his images awesome, cool. Uh, but now I'm just, like, where am I? Okay, I need to go to close, uh, blog, cool, gallery. I, th I think you might be holding this on a private server and that's why it's taking a little bit longer to, to get along to it. But, uh, see, as you, ah, no, okay, not gonna go with, with, uh, with Alonzo's kind of style of opening images like that. I think, uh, I've, I've even said this in my photography book, just saying, in my photography book, um, saying it's better to have a website with five awesome photos than it is to have a website with a hundred okay photos. Um, obviously, take that with a pinch of salt, salt each way, but uh, um, I I would rather, on my website, because at the moment, where is, where is my website again? Uh, 
I've got a couple streaming over the front. I've got copyright crap all over it. I've got some with logo, some with not. Maybe I'll change, get rid of that logo as well. Don't know if I'm really going to use that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's slowly changing, but it's not really taking up a big amount of the image. I'd like this to really uh, kind of capture the whole screen. Here it's just a, it's just a square uh, there. It's, it's not really kind of exploding out of the, the computer at me or, or grabbing my attention. Uh, let's have a little look. And there, that image didn't even crop into that, that shot, so, so that's, that's no use whatsoever. So I've just now Googled, uh, uh, what, did I, what did I Google? I just Googled some like uh, brilliant photography uh, websites. So I just have a look, it's a bottle bell photography. So the, the thing here is definitely to not just be looking at, uh, at just the oh, sound, 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 go away, go away, go away. Let's just mute you, that's what we've done. Skip in intros, I don't know, don't know if I'm really digging intros. Um, Again, amazing images, but see if you, those, like, that's just kind of half, okay, elf ear, yeah, that's cool, let's go to gallery, bottle belt, gallery hasn't changed anything, so maybe I click on it, portraiture, then a million portraits, I suppose it really depends on how you want your website to be, is it something where you're wanting to show off all your work, but I would say that's more, more my blog, I'd rather just have a, a link on my website where I just show you some of the most awesome photos that I've got or done, um, and then just say if you want to see more, go to the blog, and on the blog that's where I've got all the, the kind of cooler stuff. So I would say, for me, I think your website really should just be a portrayal of some of your best. So whenever a client goes on to it, a client's not going to go through all 24 or whatever, how many photos that you've got. They want to see, cool, can this guy do stuff? He can, he does that, that's what it looks like, I like his style, let's go for him. Um, rather than, let's go through every single photo and look at these models. Uh, maybe a model would be looking at that kind of stuff, but uh, maybe a client, possibly not. Um, so I would go, I'm more along the ideas of one big photo, uh, uh, or slowly changing or something like Lorraine's here, uh, kind of stuff. But anyway, what I need is for you guys, if you guys can tell me uh, which ones you think are good, well-presented sites. Uh, and then I'll do another video, and uh, what I'll do is I'll tell the guy, but I know a guy who knows a guy that made the other sites. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. No, that's not him. There he is, this site. Uh, and I'll tell him, put these things in it, make it nice and fast, add in the integration of YouTube and all that stuff. See how it goes. Okay, thanks for your help, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.